previously on The Hunter, Call the Wild. We headed up to Chila Lake, where we would have to down a white tail or a black tail at night. Quickly making our travel there, knowing that this would be a fairly easy objective to complete. And it was, we were able to get a good shot in on a doe and dropped it pretty quickly into the episode. And then we would have to head to Belmont where we would have to recover some tracks that we pretty easily did. And would also have to down a white tail or a black tail from 82 yards away. We thought we might have completed it, but realized that it had to be near Belmont Lake where we would have to drop the deer. We were able to drop two black tails that would clear one objective, but still had to get a buck from at least 82 yards away to complete our next objective. Hello everyone and welcome back to APN Gaming and the Hunter Call of the Wild. Listen to that inspirational music as we overlook this beautiful landscape, and it is beautiful. It really looks nice. I, I don't know what to say. Like, look at that bridge going across over there, the mountains. But don't be fooled, because we're killing stuff. So <laughs> we got a bunch of missions to do right now. Two story missions we have to photograph two different black bears so that should not be too difficult we just got to get close enough to get a real good picture of them i believe at least i had to on my other um personal play we also have to travel to chila and harvest two coyotes that one was challenging for me a little bit to try to find the coyotes to actually get them but uh you know it is what it is i think I figured out a way to make it a little easier, but we'll have to find out. We also have to harvest a male black-tailed deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 50 or higher. That's not very challenging. And that doesn't show us a requirement for having to do it anywhere. Just, just that we have to do it. And this is travel to Belmont Lake and harvest an animal down from at least 82.02 yards away. So we have to be in that vicinity. So we have that one tracked. The rest of them we can kind of do, aside from maybe the coyotes, on our way to Belmont Lake. We also do not have this outpost unlocked. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the waypoint for there. And we're going to kind of work our way to that, I believe. And if we can do some of these things while we're on our way there, then I think that'll be great. So, let's see what we come across on our... 600 yard trek. Oh, there's all kinds of deer coming across right here. We did crank that one. Going, going, going. Oh, I did not see. Oh, okay, right there. And she's down. I think we got a good shot on her right lung shot. 92 yards. You know, nothing special, but it is $800 in our pocket.
All right, so. We unlocked a new outpost so we can actually change out our weapons. I wasn't really thinking about weapons when I took off from the other outpost and I usually always discuss weapons before we leave. So we're gonna do that right here now that we have the new outpost. So storage, we're, right now we have the 243 on us but we do have uh, polymer tip rounds. I don't know if we have polymer unlocked here for the 270. 270 polymer tips, no we do not. So we only have the 270 soft point bullets, which is probably why we stuck with the 243. And we probably will continue that, but I do want to buy more 243 polymer tip rounds because we were only down to 13, which is quite a lot, but at the same time, you know, just having more would be great. We do have a tree stand on us right now. I was debating, because we have the 30-06 that we have not brought out, and this is episode 4. So we could bring the 30-06 out, and I think we are going to. We're going to throw this 243 back in. We're going to bring out our 30-06. That scope that we have will work, and that's going to help us. We'll put uh, this back and this back for now, and we're going to need some ammo for the 30-06 as well. So that was good. This episode four hadn't brought it out until now, so 30-06 polymer tips. We'll buy 20 rounds of that so we don't get into our money too bad and we will put this on so we should have no problem downing a deer with a 50 quick kill and we're gonna move up towards here and see if we can see anything we're gonna take our time kind of get up there slowly we don't want to spook anything if we don't have to and uh, yeah we'll see if we can get some of these missions done There's something big that just popped up right there as we're leaving camp. Oh, that's a moose. Sorry, guys, but we are going to... Oh, if I can stop moving. Hit with the 30-06. It's running straight up there. I don't know if I got a good hit. I, I hate the breath that you have to take. It steadies your aim, but I have it set up to manually push in L because I'm just used to playing Call of Duty and stuff like that. And you push in on the left thumbstick to hold your breath. So I like that setup, but whenever I do it on this game, because it's so sensitive with your movement, I move. And I hate that. And I don't like the other option. So I'm really picky. Wish I didn't move quite so much when I went to shoot, but you know. Oh no, I hit her right here. I was gonna say, I find it very hard to believe I didn't. With that 30 out 6, it's usually pretty accurate, and that's definitely a lung shot. Just misjudged how far back I would have hit her from. I'm guessing she didn't go very far because we spent a lot of time down here just finding our original blood spot. But usually with a lung shot on a moose, they can still go a little distance, so. She's still bleeding here. Well, she's still going. This is obviously not part of a mission. This is just, you know, a bonus. Little bonus filler for hunting. There she is. But here she is. That should be a lung shot, I'm guessing. Yeah, right lung. That's why she went for quite a distance. $755. You know, nothing... Nothing to shun at, but nothing to... Ooh, there's something else right there. Is that another moose? Where, where is it? Where is it? I think it was right in here somewhere. Uh, 
Okay, so it is a feed zone. If we could kind of get in a little bit further on this, I guarantee there'll be more coming. And if we can wait for a male to pop his head out and get that 82 yards, at least 82 yards and the quick kill on it, Look at all the rabbits over there too. So we decided to move down towards our target, knowing that it was a need zone and hoping that we could get something in to come in on her, especially a buck that we could get two birds with one stone and complete two objectives at the same time. As we move down closer and closer and closer, keeping our eye on that doe to make sure she doesn't take off, make sure we don't spook her and seeing if anything else comes in on her. So I just took out this rabbit because we were just right here. It's only a bronze, trivial, $355. Not a lot, but we had our bow and arrow, so we figured I'd take it out. But it wasn't a game arrow, so it might have been worth more if we could have taken it out with a game arrow, but with a small game arrow, I mean. I'm hoping that we did not spook off our deer that are up here. All right, so we are waiting our moment. The deer went behind these trees and they're coming along. I can still hear them crinkling over there. So we're hoping they're gonna come out of these trees behind those rocks and they're gonna work their way out into that opening right there. I have a waypoint set right there to kind of give me an idea of how many yards that is. So now it's just a waiting game. I can't see them, they're behind those rocks, but we think that they're probably going to this eating area right back here which is also 112 yards away. So I'm assuming it's right up there. So we're hoping that they come here and then circle up over to there. Because we are now going to move uphill to try to get a good downhill shot on them. So basically they went right there So we have them behind us too, but there's only one behind us. Ooh. There's our buck. There's another buck. That's way too close. They're only 30 yards out. I need you to move on. Oh, he's moving in closer. I could easily take him down with a bow and get the quick kill. Oh, I don't know if I should do it. He's going the right direction now. So we might just hope that he pushes out to give us that 80 some odd yard shot we need. He doesn't know we're here yet. Oh, just gotta push him out further. There's a doe there with him. So we somehow have to get him out there further. There's another one there, but I can't lift my head without giving away my position and scaring them, which will in turn scare the other one that is out over there somewhere. Oh, so there's that one. How far is that one away? Just judging by that, only 40 yards once again. 
Whew, they are all too close. I could get the quick kill on this one if I drew him in a little bit closer, but I'm not going to get the 82 yards. And I really wanted that. I don't think I can move without spooking them. Can I move and get up on this bank? If I can get up there by that tree, then I could have a really good shot down onto him. And it would be definitely the distance. But we gotta crawl out of here quietly to not spook them. And hopefully by that time they don't move in even closer to us to ruin our yardage again. A lot of strategy going into this hunt right now. I don't dare do anything but crawl because I'm afraid I'll spook them. The thing is about this mission is like where they were right there. I would have been able to drop them no problem. There's like a hunter's perfect scenario. But, because I need this 82 something yard shot, oh, that's 70, if we're getting closer, I need to back out away from them to get that shot. I'm hoping they don't see me. I mean, I'm quite a distance away, really, and crawling, so I'm not too concerned about them seeing me. Okay, so the one in behind, right there, and this one, are both level threes. What is my distance now? 75. We're getting there. Let's keep going. They're not budging, which is great. And I think we're actually going to get up to that pine tree right there. We'll get inside the pine tree so it's cloaking us in good shape. I don't think I see them right now. I think I'm too far down. They're down just below the nook. We're gonna head up here, get that good sh view right down into that valley. I hope I didn't spook them. No, okay. Whew. Well, there's the female. There's the male level three. That one. If we can get a neck shot on one of them, that would be the absolute perfect scenario. Right center mass, right in the neck throw area. It's gonna crimple that buck right up and drop him right there, giving us our quick kill. Okay, so we're in position, in a crouch now. Our level three is right there. Let me make sure, should be 82 yards plus. Yes, we're well, well into that scenario. I think we got our shot. We might be able to get another one here. Yep, we hit him too. Alright. So as long as we got a good 
broadside shot on him. I was going to go for the neck, but trying to get that vertebrae at a broadside shot like that is going to be much harder than it is. Oh no. No organs hit. How did I not hit an organ? You saw that shot. That was almost perfect. Oh, this is medium blood rate. Hopefully, that means he didn't go very far. To all that set up, I hope I at least got that 50. Is that more blood right there? Medium. Yep, there he is. Cross your fingers, hopefully I get that. Okay. 90 yards. So we did good there. We only got the vertebrae shot. We shot a little bit too high. Ugh, I hope that we got the quick kill. Let me see. No vital organs hit. Quick kill is 62. So we did, we did get the uh, the quick kill bonus. So we finished that one. So that means that this one up here that we hopefully hit too is just a bonus. Let's see here. Ready to go back and find our blood spot for this one. Oh, right here. No organs hit on it, but I think we definitely took that one out, too. Let's see. Let's grab our phone so we can see our cone. Very low, but I bet he still didn't get very far. Very low. Very low. This is what's good about those polymer tips, even if you don't get a good shot off. Those polymer tips usually do enough damage that you're going to take it down. Oh, there's a rabbit. Or an, I thought that was a downed deer there for a minute. but. And I think I see him right up there on the hill. Let's see if that rabbit gives us a shot. We'll take him out too. Oh, he might. He actually, he actually is giving us a shot. I think I missed him though. They're a much harder target to hit with a big rifle like that, and it wouldn't have kept the integrity of the pelt very well. No, he wouldn't have run. He would have been right there. So we got both. Is this the level three? Yeah, we got both of the level three. This one was only a flesh wound, and we still got the quick kill bonus sixty uh, of enough for the sixty-two percent. So, and our distance there was one hundred and thirty-five yards. So there so we did complete our mission of getting a 50 oh wait harvest a male black tail deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 50 or higher we did that why didn't that count Oh, we had to harvest two. We did. That was one. We got the other one was, in, was two. We both got quick kills of 50 or higher on them. I mean, you guys saw it, so... And this one says, harvest a male blacktail and earn a 50 quick kill. Doesn't say two. Why is it saying two on there now? 
This one's harvest a male white tail deer and earn a quick kill bonus of 100. That's the new one that we just got. Okay, so I'm a little bit confused. So these are the completed ones. Let me see. Okay, we downed the animal at 82 yards. That was the one that we did. We should have got the 50, the quick kill. We shot two of those. One was 135 yards away with a 62% quick kill. And the other one was 60 some odd percent quick kill too that we just harvested. Well, we got robbed here on this episode. But irregardless, we didn't do too bad. I think we made out fairly good in today's episode. We got, uh, I don't even remember. We got a moose, right? Yeah, I think we got a moose. We got a moose. We got a rabbit. We got two bucks. One at 135 yards. We chased him quite a while. But we still got the quick kill bonus. But for some reason, it didn't give us full. Uh, but that's okay because hopefully we do the next one and we get... Okay, so this one has to be a white tail and a black tail. So, a little bit more challenging, but not too bad. We didn't get any photographs of black bears. We're going to have to work on that, too. But, in today's episode, that is going to do it. I'd call that a successful hunt for me. But, uh, thank you guys so much for watching APN Gaming and the Hunter Call of the Wild. It is starting to rain. We will see you guys next time. Like comment subscribe hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the newest content and we will see you guys next time